How are we doing tonight, Lace Rub? How are we doing? That's what I like to hear. My name's Jacob Blazer. I'm going to tell you some fucking jokes. You guys alright with that? Alright. I'll be honest with you, I'm getting older. Getting older. Feeling it. It really hit me last week, guys. Just watching this Victoria's Secret commercial. Maybe you guys have seen it. It's teenage girls jumping on the bed of lingerie. They're having a pillow fight. Feathers everywhere. I know I'm getting old, because my first thought is, what a fucking mess. I just see a shitty sleepover. I want to go in there like, young ladies, you're cleaning this up, it's lights out. Get off the fucking bed. Yeah, getting older. I have, my kids are grown, they're adults. It's kind of cool, but uh, my kids are kind of mean. I gotta be honest with you, yeah. They saw one of those Comedy Central rows, so now I like to walk around and make fun of dad the way he looks. I know I give him a lot to work with, but you know, it started out mild. One day my son was like, Dad, you look like Bruce Willis if he was in the dryer just a little too long. <laughs> kind of funny, you know? And then my daughter chimes in. She's like, no, Dad, you look like if a biker gang had a librarian. <laughs> They're mean, you know? And so I just fired him at me. My son would be like, Dad, you look like room temperature Steve Austin. <laughs> so I need to work out. You know, but then it took a dark turn. One night we're having dinner. My son looks up from his craft macaroni and cheese. He says, Dad, you look like Edward Norton from American History X. <laughs> if he had AIDS. <laughs> They're mean, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And then my daughter, she looks up from her vegan macaroni and cheese. She knows. And she says, no, Dad, you look like Walter White from Breaking Bad. <laughs> if instead of selling meth, he smoked it. You're <laughs> mean. Like, you look like you're about to be some homeless kids. That's what I think. How about that? That's what I look at. But there's certain things they don't tell you as a parent. It's not in the baby books. It's a hard pill to swallow. For instance, nobody told me that my daughter, my little angel, she'd grow up and take an ass from some guy I can't stand. <laughs> Kid yourself all you want, she's gonna suck a dick. <laughs> yes. Unless she's a lesbian, she could be a cunning linguist. I'll tell you what though, I'm such a supportive dad that even if she was a porn star, I'd be like, look at the way she handles that dick though. <laughs> That's my baby girl. <laughs> Just like her mom. <laughs> She's not a porn star, guys. She's not a porn star. Strictly an amateur at this point. You know, hashtag goals, I guess. I don't know, it's 2021. I try not to judge. Speaking of anal, I think it's a lot like fast food. Stick with me. You see that commercial for the Jack in the Box triple bacon heart attack burger? You're like, that looks good. I want to try that. You see porn anal? You're like, that looks good. I want to try that. <laughs> but then when you get it, you're like, that's not what I ordered. <laughs> Is this the number two? <laughs> it looks nothing like the commercial is what I'm trying to say. You know, you go for it because it's there, even it's a little messy. But it's always followed by a little bit of regret, a little bit of disgust, and someone's not shitting right the next day. For me, Jack in the Box, the jalapeno poppers. It's like shit firecrackers in the morning. Waking up the dog. That's why I always say the cool ranch from a hidden valley, you know what I'm talking about? All right, before I get out of here, I'm gonna tell you guys, uh, most of the pandemic, I've been masturbating, guys. Like most of you, admit it or not, that's fine. I'm okay with that. You know, I'm pretty good at this point. Yeah, yes, yes. But it's changed, though. You know, nowadays everybody has pocket porn. You have five minutes, you got an orgasm. When I started out, 
I masturbate to catalogs that came in the mail from my mom, you know? <laughs> J.C. Penney, Sears, Montgomery Wards. Yeah. This guy knows what I'm talking about right here. Indeed. Yeah. So one time I found this girl in a blue dress. Short skirt, low back, lacy. I masturbated that blue dress for the whole summer. I was obsessed with the blue dress. I had a crush on Monica Lewinsky. Yeah, right? So, and okay, so first week of school, I come home, and my mom is wearing the blue dress. Wow is right. I don't know why I continue to masturbate for that blue dress. But therapy's going well. You know what? It's going so well, in fact, I almost never wear that blue dress anymore. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. My name's Jacob Blazer. All right, we're gonna keep this moving. Let's give it up for your host for the rest of the evening. Give it up for Serena the Spicy Latina Gamboa.